My name's Dean. Let's talk crypto. This is where you subscribe for daily Bitcoin updates and technical analysis. We track the price of Bitcoin as a proxy for the cryptocurrency markets at large. Today is December 21st, 2021, and Bitcoin is looking like it's finally reversing course, okay? This is something many of us in <coughs> crypto have been waiting for, for about 12 to 13 days, right? It's been some time, all right? That's number one. Number two, today is a very important episode. You need to watch until the very end, especially if you're a trader. If you're somebody who considers themselves a trader, if you're somebody who considers themselves actively trading in and out of the market as in, in, in some sense, uh, as one aspect of your investment thesis, right? You're probably buying and holding on one end, and then you're using a small percentage of your uh, total portfolio to trade in and out to create cash flow. If that's you, then please, please, please do yourself a favor. Watch until the very end, because today we're going to review this price action. Now that it's finally over, we're going to review the past 14 days, 13 to 14 days, and see how we could have saved money or how we could have made money or how we could have uh, uh, sort of prevented hemorrhaging money because a lot of people, and if this is you, definitely watch. A lot of people have lost uh, a lot of their portfolio, their trading portfolio during this time, right? And so uh, I'm sure a lot of people have even quit trading altogether during this time, right? So you're going to get this again, right? Remember, markets don't typically trend. Markets are typically going sideways and consolidating and correcting, okay? So you have to learn how to get through these periods profitably, okay? This is a key. So we're going to have to take some time, and this is part of growing as a trader. You don't just take losses and not turn them in to lessons, right? Lessons need to be transmuted into lessons. And the only way to do that is to look back and see how you could have done things better, how you could have read things better. And next time this happens, you can anticipate it because remember markets don't typically trend. They typically waddle. They typically consolidate. They typically correct. So this is not going to be a once in a lifetime kind of thing. All right, let's get into it. On the daily chart, we see that Bitcoin has finally break, broken uh, this two-week resistance, right? This two-week resistance, this downtrend, we've finally breached it with a strong green candle, okay? And that is like a, you know, a 6% pump, okay? Now, what about this price action that's important? One, you're breaking a long-term trend, a long-term 13 to 14 day trend. Two, it looks like you're completing whatever this is, whatever this pattern is, whatever this price action is, it is complete. And now you're trending in the opposite direction, right? You're trending in actually the original direction. You create, you're creating a reversal wave, okay? So that's the daily. Let's go into smaller time frames to see what exactly is happening, okay? So I'm on the hourly time frame and 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 very clearly I just basically drew two lines showing the upper and lower boundaries of this price action, okay? Uh before that I I drew a channel, but I think this uh wedge, this descending wedge is a little more accurate, okay? So going in, we see uh, clearly a one, two, three, looks like we're on four, so we can expect a fifth wave up, okay? So for those of you who haven't yet entered, this is a decent time to enter. We're correcting right now in a pullback, okay? So you always want to enter in a pullback. You don't want to FOMO into the trend. <coughs> so if you haven't entered... Um, not financial advice, but this would be an opportune time around now, right? Uh, and next, for those of you who have already entered the trade, 
obviously just let it ride. You know, this is not something that you want to take profits on too early. We clearly don't have five waves up yet. Okay. And if we pull out our fibs very quickly, we can see that the two wave, this is a clearly a, a one wave. Okay. Very clearly, this is uh, a, what we call a, uh, a initial diagonal. What do they call it? It's basically an opening diagonal okay we get that sometimes in the one wave okay this is this this is two right and this is between the <clears throat> this is this ends before the 618 of this first wave so we know that's a valid two and then we can measure this four wave pullback and we see that it's respecting the fourth wave rules it's it hasn't yet pulled back um beneath the 382 of this third wave so we're, we're good with that okay so so far so good we look like we're in the the fourth wave of a three wave uh, of a five wave impulse and let's just check if this is actually the end of the third wave we're assuming it is but let's just check and see using our trend based extension from the beginning okay where's my Trend base extension. Oh, whoops. Here we go. Trend base extension from the beginning to the top of one, bottom of two. Oh, what am I doing here? Okay, actually, we're not even, the three waves not even finished, all right? And this is. See, we the three waves not even finished, it doesn't seem, unless we've gotten a truncated three wave. Because this one, two, this one, this three wave is meant to end between the one, six, one, eight, and the two. So this may be just the four wave of the third wave. So we might get another wave for the three wave. Okay. So just uh, FYI, it's likely just on the balance of probability that the third wave isn't finished, that this is wave four of the third wave. Okay. Now we've clearly broken out. Now let's, let's use this, this knowledge because a lot of us, myself included, have lost a big percentage of their trading portfolio, right? Relatively speaking. All right. Again, trading portfolio, the way you make money in crypto, Number one is buying and holding, okay? You trade small portions of your portfolio for cash flow. Remember that. Please remember that. You don't trade 100% of your portfolio, not even close, okay? And you learn to trade. And why? while you learn to trade, you take sometimes big losses, relatively speaking, big losses of your trading portfolio, but that's fine. Those are learning fees, right? Because eventually what you're going to do is you're going to become profitable. You're going to be, become part of the 10% of traders that open a trading app and become profitable and make money consistently and beat the market consistently and grow their portfolio consistently. And then you can use some of those profits to uh, sort of invest in other um, assets in your investment strategy. Okay. That's the way. Okay. So now you lost a lot of money here. That's fine. It's all about your outlook, your perspective, your mindset, okay? It may sound corny or cheesy to some of you, but honestly, if you, if you lost money here and you quit, then you lost because you quit, because you can't make money when you quit, right? And clearly you're not good enough and that's fine, but you have to learn. You have to leave some space for you to grow, okay? If you lost money here and you said, well, I guess I lost money. I'm just going to hope I don't lose money again. You lost because that isn't the way to develop. If you lost money here and you're like, okay, how did I lose money? And how do I prevent that? You're going to win. Okay. So we look at this again. This looks like an A wave. Okay. And all of this here looks like our B wave. Okay. Right here. And so now we should be able to read this and fine, we can read it now. It's easier, but we should have been able to read it before. Okay. We know one thing <clears throat> when price action is consolidating and it's taking a long time and it's not moving and it's going sideways. One thing should ring in our heads. 
an alarm. This is got to be some sort of complex correction, okay? If you're using the Elliott wave theory principles, complex correction. Okay, if it's a complex correction, which is it? Is it a single three or is it a double three, right? So if it's a, whatever it is, it's a, either a WXY or WXYXZ. If you can read that, you can save money. You can know what to do and what not to do when price is going to break out. And let me say this before we get into that. One of my rules is that <coughs> I only trade trends. I only trade impulses, okay? I don't trade chop. I, I've said that before on this channel. This is clearly a five-wave impulse. But I've seen five-wave impulses on smaller time frames and that I've traded, but I've traded, uh, you know, I've made some money, I've lost more money in this region, to be honest with you guys. I've made money and I've lost more money than I've made. But there have been five-wave impulses, they just haven't been to the degree where they've broken this trend. So for me, one of my first rules after this is all said and done in the on the autopsy of this these 14 days is if you're going to be trading an impulse, you have to break a trend if you've noticed a trend uh, to the the other side, okay? If you're still in consolidate, and this is easier said than done because it's easy to see after it's all said and done. But how is it that I can distinguish this five waves from maybe these five waves, okay? That's difficult. And so that's something I'm going to have to figure out. That's in my trading strategy. Okay. Part of that strategy is going to be being able to read this more fluently, right? So this is clearly W. This is the first wave, okay? This is one, two, three, X. This is Y. This is two, three, Z, okay? We have our W, X, Y, sorry, I'm uh, missing one. This is X, two, and this is Z, okay? So we have our triple or our double three, and I'm gonna label it properly here. And this is why you learn to count these complex corrections, not, you know, to impress anybody on crypto Twitter. It's because you want to track the progress. W, X, Y, X, Z. Okay. And another way to track it, um, more simpler way to track it is literally just drawing trend lines, just like we did here to see, okay, you have an initial trend, this downtrend right here. And now you have a counter trend. And then you have basically a wave. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. How do I do this? You have a wave here, this wave that is counter to the counter trend, me meaning it's, it's with the trend. It's with a downtrend, okay? So we should have just known that now that we get a bounce in A, you're going to get a B wave. These B waves are what really eats up capital because they're always where you get your complex and you know your, your long drawn out consolidations. How long is it going to last? This is the question we wanna answer. And what's the structure of it so that we can avoid being caught in that chop? And if we're taking trades here, we know that we're taking high risk, uh, uh, low risk, high reward trades and risking very, very little, maybe even reducing your initial capital and saying, I'm going to only trade 2% of my trading portfolio in this region. And if I win, I win. If I lose, I lose. But when it's all said and done and I get confirmation that it's finished, then I get back into actually trading. All right. You need to find some way. It doesn't matter what it is. Everybody's going to be different. But all I'm saying is, Figure something out where next time these B waves happen, you don't get chopped up, okay? And that's the technique, right? And this is actually now easy confirmation that you're going <clears> to <throat> get five waves up, three waves down, going to retest this, and then you get your breakout, okay? And that's obviously Bitcoin, but you're going to be able to use that for the rest of the market. 
Okay. And so uh, let me just finish this really quickly. After these W, X, Y, X, Z, you clearly get an A, B, C. And C is fully impulsive. It's not partially impulsive, kind of like we saw some C waves we thought were C waves, but part of the C wave was like uh, an ABC. That's not a C wave. A C wave is pure five wave impulse. And this is what we're getting here. This is the confirmation. Okay. So I hope that helped. I hope that can jog some of your kind of minds into trying to figure this out. Again, my solutions may be different from you, your solutions, but whatever you do, find a way to get to figure this out, not just now, but later on, because it will happen again. Okay, now let's move on to some alts, maybe a, a link, because a lot of us have been trading link, okay? And it's the same thing, and this is the beauty of tracking Bitcoin as a proxy for the cryptocurrency markets at large. You just know more or less what's going on with the market because you're tracking Bitcoin. And now that Bitcoin's running, you can get uh, an idea as to what everything else is doing. So let's see, let's see, let's see. What would you do here for Link? First and foremost, oh, and let's go back to Bitcoin really quickly and set the target. So the target that I'm uh, watching for, okay? Uh, and, you know, are you trading Bitcoin? I necessarily, I wouldn't necessarily trade Bitcoin, but you could. And if you're going to trade Bitcoin, you just have to be careful because remember where we are in the macro sense, this is going to be, this is in, we're still in correction. We're in a two wave. Okay. And so we're, we're largely in a downtrend. Okay. If you zoom out, out. Okay. So this, whatever is going on, we may do some, you know, five waves, whatever, and get to a point. But remember, the impulse is down. Just don't be caught with your pants down when this starts back up. So very, be very cautious um, in your in your in your trading in this uh, in this period. And quite simply, the target for this descending wedge is going to be the distance of the the uh, length from the site of breakout. So that's why I've got uh, something like fifty four k thereabouts for the the target of this this five wave these five waves up okay and i don't know if that is going to be the reversal uh i don't know but that's just my sense okay what what we can expect as a target okay now back to link really quickly just to end it and again you use your bitcoin analysis and you apply it to these other assets so uh in link here you clearly see a trend you draw that's the base of your move and uh here is your a wave in link okay and then here is the chop so w x what do we have here What do we have here? Is this Y? Or is this Y? That's a good question. I don't, it doesn't look like we've broken out yet in link. This seems to me like a W. Or maybe this is the W. This is the X, this is the Y. This is the X2, this is the Z. I'm not sure, okay? And so if you're not sure, I think the, the best way to do this is to simply draw a trend line, wait for the break of trend here. And that's pretty much it, okay? So um, that's Bitcoin, that's Link, that's the market, that's my strategy. Hope this was helpful, hope this was useful. I'll see you guys tonight on the live stream. Take care.